Well, it's an overcast day and we're out and about So it's a perfect day to put two whoppers in my mouth And it's Wednesday, so that's what I'm about to do With you, ooh It's Black Hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies Look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah What up, y'all? Another day, another dollar Hallelujah, what's it to ya? It's Wednesday, 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 Wednesday. Isn't it weird how like some like February and Wednesday and February? Why is it like that? But it's February and Wednesday. But when you go to spell it in your head, like how many times in your head when you're spelling Wednesday are you always like Wednesday or February? But it's February and Wednesday. So like. I don't even understand. What is the sorcery with this language, this spelling? That's what it is, it's spells from the witches. But I mean, straight from the witch's mouth, it's Wednesday right now and uh, we're pulling up to BK. Walkers are deep on the crave. And current, oh no. The drive-through is insanity peppers right now. <laughs> It's Whopper Wednesday. I am a slave to the crave. I'm gonna run into the actual store because fuck waiting in this line. But there are slaves in this line as well. There's about 10 cars full of slaves. Whopper slaves. Watch this, watch this. Whopper slave, 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 and one more Whopper, Whopper slave. <laughs> Fucking Whopper Slave. Crave the Slave. Slave and Crave. Whopper Slave. So I'm gonna run inside, cause fuck waiting in that line, and hopefully this will work out in my favor, but who knows, I doubt it. <laughs> well, it didn't work out. It's only for the skip the dishes people. The door was locked otherwise for civilian pedestrian people, and I find myself in an even longer line of Whopper Slaves now, but I'm committing. Tell me the Whopper is the best fast food burger out there without telling me the Whopper is the best fast food burger out there. Don't worry. I'll go first. Slave drivers. Slave, 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 slave. All the way back to reaching back to where the drive through is. And then it wraps around here to these slaves. We got fucking moped slaves. We got skip the dishes slaves. And this slave, Hadi. Hello, uh, can I get two Whoppers, uh, heavy all? Yep. And uh, medium onion ring, please. Is that heavy? That's it. Well, what are you doing? Thank you. Heavy all. That flavor sack is secure, baby. All right, flavor sack is secured, safe and sound. Let's go ahead and get these Whoppers onion doctored up. All right, Whopper one, doctored up with the rings. Perfect, can't wait, love it, starving, ready. I just gotta say off top, never in my years have I ever seen that many Whopper Crave Slaves in one go, not once ever. But after that bite, it makes sense why there is. Mm -hmm. It's just the best. Best burger. Everything on it just works so perfectly, especially when you throw some onion rings. Granted, it is five o'clock where I'm at, so that makes sense. Um, dinner rush. Also beyond that, this is the only Burger King in my city. Come on, Anya. We 
we used to have two way back in the day there was one with a play place which was uh low-key way funner than mcdonald's play place because It was essentially like a padded room with all these like foam, almost like American Gladiator style like weapons and shit. <laughs> and you would basically just go in there and play a fight or horse around as I like to call it back then it was mad fun though. I remember going in with my neighbor. He was one year older than me. And we used to go savage on each other. For how many vehicles there was though? They were on it. It's fairly speedy. Once it's on your mind, it's hard not to get in line. My apologies if it's been super loud. I'm right by the road and it is like rush hour. Everybody's heading home. A little Gatorade Zero I had on the go. Just to clean up the palette. Now during this next beautiful magic, I gotta ask you guys a little serious question. It just happened to me here. It happened to me last night as well. It's this like ridiculous neurotic human trait does it happen to you? Do you do it? Why do people do it? And that is this. When I pulled up here and I was like, screw this line, right? I'm going in, I park and right behind me, another guy parks beside me. Standard dude, not script the dishes. Thinking like I am, I'm gonna go inside. Sees me get out of my car, go up to the door Pull the handle, it's locked. Watches me walk back to my vehicle in defeat. He gets out, masks up, walks up to the door, does the same thing I just did, and like throws his hands up in the air. It looks like he's surprised and like it's some big deal. And I'm like, dude, did you not just witness me do that? And it's this weird thing inside our human brains where it's like, oh, it'll be open for me. Or like, it's not going to happen to me. Or like, 
I have the like the Midas touch. Like I have this magic in me that like it's gonna work for me. Like I just saw a guy get denied, but no, it's gonna work for me. Like what is that? I've observed it so many times. Last night, same deal. I was going for a late night cruise. I've been sick of sitting in the house. So I have like that nice uh, overlook of the city that I brought you guys to. And so I brought my laptop in my vehicle because I was going to edit the video that I shot that day, but just out, like just chilling in my truck. Get some fresh air, some night air, right? So I'm headed there. And I'm like, oh, I'm just going to grab a bottle of something to drink just in case I get thirsty. Just something to have, something to sip on, right? Pull up to the store. Get out of my car, truck, go up to the store, go to pull on the handle. The, the attendant at the store is essentially AFK, like away from keyboard, but in this case, like away from countertop. And uh, right when that's happening, as I'm getting denied at the door, same thing. There's this couple that pulled in behind me. They watch me pull the door. I look at them in their vehicle, almost to indicate like, don't even bother, like it's closed or like they're not there. Buddy gets out of the car, <laughs> goes, pulls the door, gets denied, and then he starts like, you know, like intruder alert, like putting his eyes through like the glass and shit. Trying to like locate the clerk. And I'm just like, that's gonna be a couple good bites in there, nice and juicy. I'm just like, did you not just see what happened to me? But it's this weird mind fuck that we all have. Or a lot of people have. I've, I've just noticed it over time that people think like, oh, like it's not going to happen for me. <laughs> some ego shit or something. It's really weird to observe. It's some really weird, like, I gotta see for myself type shit or like, I truly believe people think that like they have like a magic like oh it'll work for me or at the very least I have to confirm that it won't open for me right like something like that Very interesting social uh, observation. Like I myself, if I pull in and I see somebody at, at the door yanking the door, I'll probably just roll my window down and lean out and be like, oh, is it closed? And I'll be like, yeah, nobody's there. And I'll be like, cool. And then move on with my life. You know what I mean? Find another store or whatever. I don't know. It's very strange. Anywho, let me know down below if this weird shit happens to you. Two whoppers down. First one was 
immaculate vibe. Second one was a little off, to be honest. Uh, some greener, darker lettuce, which is like off-putting on the Whopper. I, you saw me take that off. And then a couple too many onions. I don't know. It's weird how sometimes one burger can be just immaculate vibes. And then the second one is sometimes like, eh, I don't know really where you came from. You know, it's very strange. Anyway, till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.